students welcome to the third part it's based on history of taxonomy so this is part 1 of this history history is it sounds quite boring yes but this history of biological classification is not that boring because you will find it interesting to know about the various types of classifications or various things that were introduced by the scientists so let's begin with the journey of this history biological classification now we will be understanding history of taxonomy this is part 1 so before beginning with this history of taxonomy i would like to ask you one question what is taxonomy do you know okay taxonomy sometimes also known as systematics is the science of classifying organisms okay it is a science in which we are classifying organisms let's begin with the history first we will take the scientist aristotle aristotle is the father of biology and zoology so he is the father of both next he subdivided all the plants and animals by their habitat like air sea or land dwellers for example this bird this is a bird it is a air dweller this is fish and it is a sea dweller and this is horse it is a land dweller so based on this on the habitat of each and every organism aristotle subdivided them then came the scientist theophrastus he is known as the father of ancient ancient plant taxonomy as well as the father of botany aristotle is the father of biology and zoology and theophrastus is the father of botany he wrote many books okay on plants and few of them are historia planetarum plantarum causes of plants and inquiry into plants he proposed first classification of organisms so first classification of organisms is proposed by of sorry first classification of plant kingdom theophrastus proposed first classification of plant kingdom then came the scientist john ray john ray was a botanist and he was the first to use the latin name for naming today we are using latin names while naming plants and organisms to make the naming process universal so this latin name was introduced by john ray his name was very long in fact they were very long because they tell about the description of every thing about the plant for example if you have to name a rose under john ray's uh, nomenclature it will be named as a flower having red color and having thorns on its stems like this <laughs> very big name exactly you will not call it rose imagine you are calling a red flower having petals and sepals and thorns on its stems oh, very big name exactly like this john ray's name was very big because they are describing the complete characteristic features of that plant or organism into this name carolus linnaeus the scientist father of taxonomy okay and he gave the most popular and today's system of nomenclature that is the binomial nomenclature he wrote many books again first one was systema natura it was published he wrote this book on 1737 and then he wrote philosophia botanica genera plantarum and species plantarum this species plantarum was his last book which he wrote in the year 1753 now i am going to test your knowledge who is the father of zoology yes we have discussed Hmm, exactly aristotle and who is the father of botany 
Mm -hmm. We discussed it again. Yes, Theophrastus. And last question, who is the father of taxonomy? Yes, it is Carolus Linnaeus. If you have any query, just go to the website askiitunes.com, click on the discussion board, select the category of your question type, type your question over there and get it answered from our experts, the experts of Ask ITNs within 24 to 48 hours free of cost. Well students, this is all about history of taxonomy part 1. In this we have understood about the concepts of Aristotle, John Ray, Theophrastus and Carolus Linnaeus. Now moving on to the next part of this history of taxonomy that is part 2. So please play the next video.